most artists are like, we want the biggest stage possible. We want to write these songs that are like gonna appeal to billions of people. And my whole premise is like, I want to write songs for one person. The audience will be one and it will explode their mind. My name is Mike Long, and I operate under the name Tiny Anthems. I record highly elaborate, whimsical, celebratory, dense, uh, circuitous, surprising songs that tell people's life stories. If there's a person that's in your life that you really like or love, and you want to tell them but you're not quite sure how. Well, that is in fact my exact wheelhouse. So, I mean, a lot of the reason that I do Tiny Anthems at all is just because I think it's so funny. I leave my space heater on when I leave the house. I know it's not safe to do, but I do it anyhow. And when I come right back home from wherever I was, my apartment is so toasty because I left my space heater on. Usually it's a gift from one person to another. So someone writes to me and they tell me this person's life story or recent memories or whatever it is. And then when I start recording, I sort of like hold that person's image in my mind as it were. My songs tend to be like a big story arc. You know, you have your sort of like scene setting and then maybe this thing happens and then we talk about this person's quality and then we talk about this thing that happened to them. Most of them are cello, guitar, banjo, drums, bass, mandolin, ukulele, whatever. Potentially hundreds of instruments go into the recordings. Not to be too, ah, but I have um, a pretty, I would say if I like um, got on my Gmail uh, and like filtered for the word cry or crying, it would be 99% of the emails. Like I straight up cried the first time I heard it and so did my stepdad, it was really, really sweet. Either way, the brightest light that's in the room lives in Vancouver, Washington, even if you mostly see the light on Zoom. Because I have not heard of something like that before. I thought it was really interesting and like unique for somebody. And then to listen to the songs, just the amount of production and for it to be all one person was just like mind blowing. When I first started doing it, I was like, oh, it's really sort of like doing a portrait of someone except in music. 